So we had graphed linear inequalities and the point of that was to be able to solve a system of linear inequalities. This unit is about solving systems of linear, ine linear equations and linear inequalities. So let's take a look at the warm up and review graphing a linear inequality. Okay, so y is on a side by itself, my slope is 1, my y-intercept is 0, negative 2. So I start at 0, negative 2, up 1, right 1. Now y is less than, so that means this will be dashed, less than means below. So that means all of the answers are any of these ordered pairs that um, are in the shaded area. So for example, I could pick 8 negative one. If I put in eight and I put a negative one, I get negative one is less than six. Yes, it works. Okay, now let's take a look um, about solving a system of linear inequalities. So let's go back to our first method of solving a system of linear equations. We had two lines and we were looking for where they intersected. So solving the system meant finding a point that worked in both equations. In other words, it made both equations true. So if they intersected, that point of intersection was the answer. If they were parallel, there was no solution because they had no points in common, nothing worked in both. And then if they ended up coinciding, which meant the same line, there were an infinite amount of solutions and they were those points that were on the line. Now, how do we solve a system of linear inequalities? Well, graphing is the only option because we always have an infinite amount of solutions. So our graph is going to show us where those solutions are. So just like with lines, we looked where they intersected. Well, with the linear inequalities, we are gonna look where they intersect or where all of the shaded areas overlap. So let's take a look here at example one. So the directions are solve the system of linear inequalities. So I have y is greater than one. So remember, we approach these like we would graphing a line. That's a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at one. It is dashed, greater than means above. Now, I shaded, I uh, colored that all in blue. Now let's take a look at the green inequality. X is less than three. That is a vertical line that is dashed. Now, the trick of above and below doesn't work when you have a vertical line, but if you think less than left, don't all the values for X get smaller when you go left? So then I shaded all of that in green. Now I looked where the blue and green overlapped and that is what I have all shaded in black. So this is why our graph answers our question because all of these answers, all of these places where they overlap, all of these points are answers. And there are an infinite amount, so there's no way to list them. So your graph shows the answer. Okay. So when we're solving a system of inequalities, we graph each inequality and then we look where they overlap and that area where they overlap, we shade it, show that it's darker and that answers the question of what are the answers that make it true. So let's take a look at example two. All right, so in example two, of course, we gotta get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract x and then we gotta divide by negative one. Remember, ding, 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 if you divide by a negative, you have to reverse the sign. So now this is y is less than x minus two, so let's go to my blue equation here. All right, so my y-intercept is zero, negative two, slope of one, up one, right one, up one, right one. So I have a dashed line, and I don't know if you can see, but I had shaded all below in blue. The blue's pretty light here. All right, now let's take a look at the green. I have x, plus 2y is greater than or equal to 1, so I got to get y by itself, so I subtract x, and then I divide by 2. There was no dividing by a negative, so it stays the same direction, so y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 1 half. So my y-intercept is 1 half, my slope is negative 1 half, so I went up 1, left 2, down 1, right 2. It's greater than or equal to, so it is a solid line. Greater than means above, so that I shaded in green above. So now I looked at my graph, it's kind of hard to see, but I looked at my graph and I saw where my blue and my green um, overlapped and that shading that in in the black was a way to show that those are all the answers. My graph, my picture is the answer. Okay, let's take a look at example three. 
First of all, I wrote example three like this just to remind you to put it in slope intercept form. So I wanna rearrange these. So I'm gonna have this as negative two X plus one. So my bluey inequality, Y intercept is zero one, slope of negative two, up two right one, down two left one. Greater than or equal to, so I have a solid line. Greater than means I shade above. So I don't know if you can see all of that was in blue. Okay, the green inequality, first of all, I want slope to be first. Uh, y equals mx plus b form. So my slope is one, my y-intercept is zero, two. So, uh, y-intercept is zero, two. So start at zero, two, up one, right one, down one, left one. This is a solid line because it's equal to. Less than means I shade below. So I look to see where did my blue and green overlap all through here. So these are all the answers that work in both. Could we pick a point? Sure. So for example, Pretty obvious, um, I could pick seven zero, that's in all of this area. So if I put in seven and I put in zero, one minus 14 is negative 13, zero is bigger than negative 13. Okay, one more, example four. Y is less than five X plus three. So that's my blue inequality. So I start up at three and I have a slope of five, so really steep, of five right one, down five left one. Now, less than means I shade below in blue. All right, my green inequality had a y-intercept of zero, five with a slope of negative five. So I went down five, right one, up five, left one. All right, so negative slope, it's greater than, so dashed, and I shaded above, okay? Now I looked where the blue and green overlapped, and that is all in this area. Now, if you ever ended up, I did not go over an example, but you, if you ever ended up with a pair of parallel lines and one was shaded above and one was shaded below, you may not have any overlap, which would mean no solution. So just a reminder, when you are graphing a system of inequalities, um, you need to graph each one. All right, now we look for um, the points that they have in common or where they overlap. So those points, what they have in common are the answers. There is no listing the answers. The graph is your answer because there are an infinite amount of solutions.